Hello everyone, it's me. I hope you're all doing well. We're playing WRC on the Nintendo Switch. So we're playing WRC Generations. I bought the game on sale. I bought a few racing games on sale. All that. <laughs> Fear Rally 4 was another I bought on sale. Really good game. I think uh, the WRC Generations, like, uh, there was a lot of hate for the game on the uh, PC at the time. And then, I don't know, it just sort of faded off. But the game's actually fun enjoyable and yeah it's on the switch and it plays well so i don't know what the hate is for it really <laughs> it's just that's what it seems to be on youtube it's not richard burns rally it gets hate yeah i attempted this i failed it this is my second attempt <laughs> i just i kept skipping the give up menu to getting through the game so i'd actually um go through this yeah we're at purple team isabel Someone have don't know. It's a woman, bloody co-driver, and uh, Sebastian Loeb, famous rally driver. So yeah, it should be good. Well, you'd think it'd be good. It's me that's driving it, not them. I'm actually in the game. So I'm also getting a bit distracted. Uh, there's a cat on my desk. He just wants force. As soon as I sit down to do recording and stuff like that, it just lies in front of me or sits in front of the screen and just... Give me fuss, give me purrs. We're looking at people on the screen. Yeah, it's a good game this and I do recommend it. Like, I don't know what all the hate is about. Ford Puma, it's got a hybrid system. Ford Puma. Puma, Puma. So yeah, I have to uh, apologise for not being on YouTube much lately. I'm just extremely busy. I've <laughs> got things going on in life. And hopefully when all this is over in a few months' time, I'll be back to doing regular stuff on YouTube, but more mixed stuff. So hopefully there'll be some stuff that involves an actual camera. Right, and it'll be more than just gaming. Hopefully, yeah. We've got plans for the future and stuff to do. Yeah, if I'm not working, I'm just busy doing other things. So, yeah, it's, it's hard to find time. Right, WRC, I've got to remember the bloody... Oh, this is a really long track. This is what I wanted to show you. That's why I deliberately failed attempt number two. So I could... Oh, the but the performance seems mostly fine. There is a blurring going on. I can't tell if that's lowered frame rate or just motion blur. Like when you're moving around. But the graphics look a bit like there's a bit more in it than um, WRC 10. I don't know. WRC 10 just looks a bit bland. Well, we'll do, like, the graphics are missing. In uh, Apex Legends, the problem with Apex Legends is... Well, the resolution is so low, I can't fucking see what's going on. I don't know how they managed to do that. I reckon if it was the other map, not the World's Edge, the um, Olympic... Oh, whatever it is, I can't remember what it's called, Olympus or something. The one that looks sort of like Call of Duty, um, Advanced Warfare, sort of look. But I reckon if it was that map, yeah, it would maybe run a bit better. Well, visually, it might be a slightly higher resolution. But having said that, all the WRC games are played, even though I say the graphics look pants, the resolution is still there, so it's not all blurring. You can't see what's going on. I mean, they do have really low levels of detail, like the distance is uh, very turned down. The LOD, so stuff pops in a lot. But it's fine, like for what you need. It's uh, yeah, it's good. It might help you improve gameplay skill. 
because you're more focused on listening to the driver than where stuff is. I find it hard to do them little flicks around corners, you know, the little quick scandy flicks. I can't really. Or oh, little drifts. Yeah, they're a bit. Um, I don't know, that's the one thing I do find a bit more difficult than this one over WRC 10. Shame we don't have this game on PC. I need to get the WRC games on PC when I finally get around to PC gaming again. Just having the better graphics, I bet, like, it's more enjoyable as well. Especially like with a wheel. If it's fun, it's fun. Oh shit, that was my own fault. Hey Jasper. Oops. Oh, my desk is just right. Just leaning. I've got the Corsair K95 RG Platinum keyboard and uh, it's sort of partially using the uh, wrist rest on it so it's like a, to lean on. So it's just lying on the desk facing me like just sort of reminds me of my cats like cutting my lungs off. Well, Wilma in particular, Wilbur was more of, he was just lying in the middle of the door there, like, just... <laughs> you wouldn't go to the toilet, he wouldn't care, he was just lying on his back, all paws spread out, and just across, crashed out of sleep. The dogs would be sniffing him, he's just like, he won't budge, he's just like... Yep. Wait, I thought the dr woman was female anyway. Why does she sound... I've got a male voice. Noticed. Default. I want it to sound like the actual person. There you go. How it sounds. I was wondering, I thought for a sec... <laughs> I can't believe I've only just realised it took that long. Even the audio quality is not too bad on this game either. I can't tell, are these uh, WRC, like this Puma, is this all wheel drive or is it front wheel drive? Because one minute it feels front wheel, then the next it feels a bit old, so I can't really tell. Tell this car feels like it's a bit out of juice now. I think that's to do with the hybrid the E system. I've got it in map one, which is supposed to provide most acceleration, but right. you have less energy half the well, so that's the edging on the throttle and brakes because like, I'm not that familiar with this track yet. Right. The second attempt, I uh, I just turned the system off because I was busy, so I didn't actually get to play it. And then that's why I just kept giving up on the rest of them. I gave up on the rest of them because I didn't want to do shorter versions of it. Right. 
but I'll make one, an interesting video of here is tracking one long go. Right. I don't know why people are, would knock this game, I can't recommend it. Well I can, on Nintendo Switch on sale. It's a banger. It's a good game. Sure, it's not quite as difficult as Dirt Rally 2.0, but what game is? What game is? It's just, you know. That game, every road in that game feels like it's like a millimetre wide or something, like... Your car's extremely wide on an extremely small road. I like how big supercars are in England, like the wide supercars. I always have a problem with getting around the tiny villages. That's what that kind of is like. I don't know if which one's more realistic, this or Dirt Rally 2.0. Brain's all distracted now. That's why I'm fearful. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say I've gotta send a message. Damn it, it work. I was hoping I could just about skim across that area. I don't know what this No, like when you're out with, like, in the car and you see one of them vehicles that carries cars on it and it's got the ramp on the back. It looks like in a video game we could just accelerate, drive up the bag with it and jump off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's a good job I keep my intrusive thoughts to the video games, isn't it? Now the cat, now he's different. When he's got intrusive thoughts, you can see it in his head. He starts turning his head like he does this weird head wobble turn thing. Just like, whatever you think he's doing, think <laughs> I can't believe he's so fresh out on the desk. Good. Absolutely. Just blacked out. Eh? I'm going to take a picture of him, actually. to me girlfriend
<laughs> Sorry. And it's got destructible stuff. When you play a game like Battlefield 2042, is that game just deliberately unoptimized for old hardware like they haven't bothered to? You know, adjust anything so it works on older computers. Like there's no driver support or something like that. I have an extremely bad problem trying to run that game. Yeah, the beta ran fine and then it ran terrible. It just like it just ran whatever it was in the mood to run like. And then when I played the actual game, I played like Battlefield Bad Company 2 maps and Battlefield 3 maps. You know, the remakes and stuff on it. It was terrible. I have run Battlefield 4 at high settings with all the nices, uh, Battlefield 5 high settings all the nices, and it would run at over twice the frame rate than Battlefield 2042 would at minimum settings, with everything cranked down, like, it just would refuse to fucking run properly. I've not got a puncher, have I? Yeah, that's the problem with Dirt Rally 2.0, it's always, oh, pressure's gone up, water temperature's gone up, or something like, gone down. Water temperature has gone up. I think, like, Dirt Rally 2.0 has a, a few little niggles that is... Tarmac racing is one of them, like, it just... Cars just feel so skittish and I don't know. They just don't feel like they feel like they're skating or something. Like tarmac racing in that game doesn't feel like you have any grip on any on top. No grip at all. You've got more grip on bloody snow or gravel or something. There wasn't enough right snow two. maps either, right like two. proper snow. Yeah, obviously they had the right little snowy ones, right but like four. didn't have Left stuff two. like the much. Of, they didn't even have Pikes Peak or anything. And Left things six. like just ruined it. And then they right did the whole. Oh, right this one's the deluxe edition, and then this one's right the four. got everything pack, Left which costs three. like extra crap. I ended up spending over a hundred quid on the game. I mean, I put the hours in, but still. Left three, keep in, into kink, into right four, very long, The supposed to be a bit of everything. I think this game here, WRC games, are some of the best rally games on Nintendo Switch. V Rally 4 is really good, but it sort of reminds me of Gear Club Unlimited a bit. Gear Club 2. They sort of buy your car and choose your events and it just forces you down a certain room or something. Whereas this, you've got like at least the events thing and stuff going on, so you get a bit of a mixed bag. V Rally 4 is more arcade -y. Yeah, it's still fun, but. I don't know. This game has a bit of a nice change. I mean, they've all got their own things that make them good. It's that nice having a change. Of I'd say WRC10 is not a bad game, just, just like there's as much 
visual like this. And looks a lot flatter. Four, open. Keep left into right three. WRC9 looks like it has slightly better graphics. Well, the handling and stuff is good. Performance is good. And so it depends really, you, you just get, get whatever you want and just have a go and have fun. I've got the 3, 8, 9, 10. I've got those games in a bundle on the sale for cheaper than it would have cost for one game. So I might as well do that and I get three games and I get to enjoy them all. And I've paid like £13 something for this. On top of that, it's still cheaper than just one WRC 10 on its own when it's not on sale. Alright, I seem to be struggling. Oh, cars and knackers. A hybrid map in our juice too. Am I out of hybrid energy? Even the Switch Pro controls are nice, but I just wish the things were analog triggers rather than just buttons. You know, the RZ and LZ. Hey, well, 17 and 4. But yeah, that's a WRC Generations gameplay on the Nintendo Switch. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and I shall catch you in the next one. Take care.